introducing our new incubator that we've have built. We took an old refrigerator that was dead. It was 20 bucks second hand. Um, I wanted one that we could see the eggs on the inside. So uh, we got the glass front on it. The egg basket here, well this little motor back here rotates and it spins. We can hold up to five baskets in here and each basket uh, holds 30 eggs. Uh, we got golf balls in here for our demo. And there's basically six controls on, on the incubator. Up front we've got five of them. We've got the light, the LED light, so you can see inside there. That one's the fan, so there's a pusher fan and a puller fan to circulate air for the forced air system. This one here turns on and off the motor. So in the last three days when the eggs are about to hatch, you turn off the rocking so they don't rotate. And then we've got a little uh, temperature controller here that was uh, 13 bucks off eBay. It monitors the temperature. We're, we're getting up to 37 degrees right now. And then the humidity controller was about $15. It seems to be up to humidity right now. So this one maintains it within about 0.3 of a degree. The humidity, it seems to be out by 5 or 10 degrees. So I think i got to set it down a little bit lower. Um, so the five controls are here, the two controllers and the three switches. Um, and then the sixth control here is the amount of fresh air that comes in and out of it. Now the original refrigerator was cold up to this zone, and then this was the hot zone back here. And we are circulating air with those fans between the two zones, the front and the back, and we enlarged the back. So that we kind of have a working room back here. The two fans are circulating air between the two zones. The bulbs are heating, so we've got a bit of redundancy there. You know, it can run on one bulb if, if one burns out. And the same with the fans. If one of the fans burns out, it'll still circulate air with the remaining fan. Humidistat is back here that tells the computer where we're at, and the temperature probe is that little one there. And then it turns on and off this little ultrasonic vaporizer and when it sits in the water it kind of creates a bit of steam down in here and that steam builds up inside the bucket but if you stick it in front of the fan here you can see it turns into like a little chimney gets that air quickly circulating in with the rest of the air in here and that little one there that's the motor to to rock the eggs back and forth this chamber we left it extra high off the ground the last incubator collected humidity so if this one is the same way, we're going to put a bucket under here and be able to collect the water that, that comes into it. But I think with the humidity controller, it won't be a problem. I think we can set our humidity to 95 or 98 percent. Not quite bring it to 100 percent where everything's dripping wet, but almost bring it there. And I think that will prevent the moisture problem. But if not, we'll put a bucket under here and we'll collect the moisture. We have a, a kilowatt thing here that's... Uh, measuring how much power it's drawing. Oh, I forgot to show you. Um, this shelf in here, well, all the shelves are removable and uh, they all rock on their own. Um, the cardboard portion in here is removable so that when the chicks hatch, you, you stop the rocking, leave them horizontal, and then the eggs just sit in here on the last three days. You crank up the humidity but we're going to line it with this uh, window screen so that the, their little feet don't fall through this half-inch mesh. Let's do a little time-lapse. <laughs> 